Well, this is a 1980 Compact 16. They're nice little boats. I've owned a few of them over the years. One of my favorite boats, really. Um, they uh, handle well at the coast or on a lake, either one. Shoal draft, got uh, internal concrete ballast. A um, Couple of things to watch out for them, especially the older ones, but uh, this one's in pretty good shape. Um, I've got to redo the boot stripe. I may put bottom paint on it. I'm not sure. It's pretty clean, so I may not. Uh, I'm going to pull off the rub rail and reseal the hole to deck joint. Um, I've got to work out my little bimini top here. I've got, I've got, um, I've got a bimini top that, that should work on it. Um, I may have to do just a little bit of modification, but I think it'll work. Um, I've got to get a new set of sails for it. Um, the sails that are with it are rotten. They're original from 1980 and they were left in the boat and a little bit of rainwater's got in over the years and the boat hadn't been used in in several years with the sails rolled up up in the bow. So they, they pretty much shot. That's the worst thing I got to do is get sails. You know, there's no way to get around that costing a few, you know, a few hundred dollars, thousand, twelve hundred dollars, whatever. Um, but other than that, it's just a little bit of maintenance and got to do a little bit of work on the trailer. Um, the These uprights that support the bunks are rusted out where, the, where they attach to the bunks. Um, I'm going to pull the bunks off and re-carpet them and replace those uprights, which is basically just like a, a one inch or one, inch, one and a quarter inch OD uh, galvanized schedule 40 pipe, which you can get at hardware store, so that's not a big deal. Probably put new tires on it, check bearings, repack bearings, whatever. Um, the rig is good, uh, mast and the boom. I've got some new uh, running rigging for it. The standing rigging is good. It's actually been replaced before with uh, one size up from what would have come from the factory. Uh, so that's good. I've already made a new uh, marine plywood um, hatch board. Um, and I've got it stained with a uh, teak stain and a few coats of uh, varnish on it. It might may put another couple of coats of varnish on it, but that's done. I've already took the uh, the uh, cabin sole. Uh, they're notorious for the top of the concrete flaking up, and the it only had like a single thin layer of glass cloth across it, and uh, I've cut that out cleaned up all of the crumbled up uh, concrete on the very top and uh, got all that already um, redone and, and glass back in with 1708 and epoxy resin. Um, I did drill a hole in the bottom of the keel to drain out any water that was trapped in the keel, which is not unusual for there to be a little bit. And this one was, you know, had, had a little bit, not much. It's probably maybe a half a gallon, just, just a touch, but I've already got that patched back up. So I've already done a little bit of work to it. Um, but like I say, the main thing is just, you know, cleaning it up good, re rebedding this hole to deck joint to get rid of the rainwater that was getting in it. That's usually the culprit right there, almost always. I'll probably rebed the mast step and, uh, you know, just check the deck hardware. I may, may rebed deck hardware, I'm not sure. Um, pretty much it, but at least it's in the shop, so it's a starting point. So uh, this will be my boat that I'll probably use up at Jordan Lake this uh, spring and summer if I can get it turned around real quick. Um, may, maybe use it at the coast some, but primarily for right now, this one will just be for for the lake, local lake. And the name on it is Chickadee, which I kind of like. I'm going to leave that. It does have a hatch. Um, 
in the front up here. Uh, a nice little hatch. Um, that would have not been stand standard. That was that was added uh, added by somebody because um, I don't think they came with a hatch in eighty. I don't, they may have had it as an option, but I don't think so. That would, hatch was newer than that to me. Like it might have been added sometime in the last you know ten or twelve years. Um, but it's kind of nice to have it. Uh, I've also got a a screen uh, a screen. Um, hatch cover for up here and then I've also got a screen that covers up the lazarette lid as well to get good ventilation through through the boat so between those screen hatches to keep the bugs out and then that open will hatch up front which I have the screen frame for that uh, forward hatch uh, but the screens rotted out of it so I'm gonna try to rescreen it if not I, I'm sure I can probably order one for it but being that I've got the frame, I may be able to just, you know, put some screen back in and I'm not sure. Anyway, that's, that's uh, the next project for in here. I've, I'm still working on the sea sprite just a little bit. I've got just a couple of things to do still on it. I've got a little bit of electrical wiring to do. That's, that's the biggest thing still to do with that. It's, it is 100% usable just like it is, um, except I need to redo some wiring and, um, uh, Put in new bow lights, uh, navigation lights. Um, I've got a stern light that works, but I don't have the, I do not have the original um, bow navigation lights that, that were on the cabin sides on that boat originally. Um, so still got, like I say, just a little bit of work to do on that boat, the, the sea sprite, but it's pretty much ready to go. Um, and then I'm gonna get started on this one. What I'm what I'm finishing up on the sea sprite I can do outside. The boat's on the trailer and it's um, watertight, rain tight, um, and it's actually the mast is down and tied off, and the boat is actually ready to travel. Um, uh, if I don't sell it, I will probably put it in the water pretty soon uh, down on the Noose River. Um, that's what I've got in mind for that boat. 